Two months ago, XDA published a post on XDA's portal saying that Google Camera with HDR Plus has been ported to Snapdragon 820, 821 and 835 devices. This Google Camera HDR Plus port will work on all devices with Hexagon 680 ISP, mainly found on the Snapdragon 820, 821 and 835 SoCs. The Ukrainian developer by the name of BSG on the forum 4PDA has posted a modified version of this Google Camera. And then a month ago, this port has been updated with zero shutter lag or ZSL support and with support for Snapdragon 4 series and 6 series for the Xiaomi devices. With a much better approach to HDR+, ZSL as we've mentioned, slow motion and working 60 FPS videos. Now two weeks ago Google Camera with HDR Plus Sport has seen another update with RAW support, HDR customization and major bug fixes. The compatible devices list has been updated several times and it now includes the LG G6, the OnePlus 3, 3T, 5, the Galaxy S8, the Xiaomi Mi 5S, the LG V20, and the essential phone. Other devices with camera 2 API enabled such as the Nokia 6, Redmi Note 3 and Redmi Note 4 may also work too. Now an XDA member with the name Ivanich, I hope I'm saying this right, has taken BSG's work and made it more optimized for Snapdragon 820 and A21 devices. Luckily, I have an A20 device, which is the OnePlus 3. And I have taken some sample pictures to show how this HDR Plus is effective. So for our first pick, here's a comparison between HDR Plus Off and HDR Plus Off auto in this situation. Keep in mind that the focus and the exposure point is in the middle of these lights. That's why the room is a bit dark. You can see how HDR Plus made the room a bit brighter and how the lights are more clear and detailed. This one is a much better comparison picture that shows HDR Plus auto versus HDR Plus off. And the focus point and exposure point is pointed towards the painting in the middle of this picture. You can see how a lot of the details around the lights are missing while HDR Plus is off. Even the two turned off light bulbs aren't showing up when HDR Plus is off. Here's another picture I took in the elevator with HDR Plus set on auto. You can get more details inside the light bulbs. Here's three different pictures taken with my camera pointed at my dark room. You can see how Forced HDR Plus did the best in dark areas. Forced HDR Plus uses a bit of a more aggressive algorithm to work out the more exposed parts of the picture and the underexposed part of the pictures, which might result in some artifacts. Here's a picture of my kitchen. You can see how the kitchen light is a bit more detailed. When HDR Plus is off, the light reaches under the tile line. But with HDR Forced and HDR Plus Auto, the light is brought back above the tile line, which means more details are shown. Here's a picture of a bird next to my tablet, and my tablet has full brightness on. You can see how HDR Plus Forced gave a lot more details to the dark areas than with HDR Plus Off. And when the exposure point is pointed at the tablet, HDR Auto provided the same result as HDR Plus Forced, while HDR Plus Off gave the worst result. And here's the last sample picture I have. With HDR Plus Forced, you can see a bit more details at the bottom of the picture. The closet and the mirror are shown, while in HDR Plus Off, the closet and the mirror just disappeared. They're black. To compare this exact scene with OnePlus's camera, Using OnePlus's camera with HDR turned off, we have the same result as the Google camera with HDR Plus turned off, obviously. But what's interesting is that with forced HDR using OnePlus's camera, it didn't give out as much details as with forced HDR Plus in Google's camera. We can see more details inside the light bulb, but we cannot see the closet and the mirror anymore. You can get the port from our forums using the link in the description down below for OnePlus devices and keep an eye on XDA's portal for any major updates to this HDR Plus 
support for the Google camera by the great developer BSG and the awesome XDA member Ivanich. Thank you all for watching, this was Rairo Zaizo on XDA TV and I'll see you soon.